this class we are going to learn about one more technology adapter in oracle integration 3 that is database adapters database adapters we oftenly used while building any integration in oracle integration in order to save the records for persistence of data so and so forth things before going into hands-on and see how to create the connection in oracle integration we will have a look at the documentation by oracle I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on using database adapters with Oracle integration 3. So, if you look at the table of content here, Oracle has provided the capabilities section, restrictions of the Oracle database, what are the supported versions, how we can create a adapter connection, how we can add the connections to the integration in the for invocation and also there are few use cases which you can practice and also there is a section how you can troubleshoot if you face any common errors. If you were stuck somewhere while practicing these classes in this course, you can come over first of all to this troubleshoot section. You can see if you find any solution. So similar like that, there are other kind of adapters as well in Oracle integration specific to your database. Like if you are using Oracle's autonomous transaction processing or also known as ATP or if you are using Oracle ADW or DBAS so and so forth things individual adapters are available for those databases and you can look at documentation for the same and you can have a look at the capabilities restrictions and the use cases available and how you can use and the troubleshoot specific to that particular database adapter more or less all the database adapters have the same capabilities and the features few of the things will be varying according to their capabilities like ATP will have some feature and ADW will have its own specialities over other without wasting much time let's begin with our hands-on in order to create any database adapter, we have to navigate to connections under design and click on the create button on the right top corner. Click on this. Here we need to search for the ATP as I am going to make use of the ATP adapter for my use case. I am going to name over here as a ATP and I am going to make use at invocation point only and click on create. If you are going to make use of the database adapter, in that case also the steps will be same. Only difference will be you will be having to upload your host, port, username, password, those details and the service name. Under the service name, I will populate the service name for my adapter. Fine. I am going to upload the valid. Choose the valid. It is over here. Select this and click on open. Done. Click on upload. Next, it will ask for the valid password. I am going to enter it. Next, it will ask for the database service username. I will enter the username. Next, I will provide the password. Once done, click on the test button. Our demo ATP connection got successfully tested. Let me save this connection. Our connection for ATP got configured successfully. So, following those steps, you can create a connection for your specific database adapters in Oracle Integration 3.